Hey foodies, Chef Kyle here, back for another episode. Today we're making gluten-free air fried chicken. We're going to pair that dish with some sautéed kale, cherry tomatoes, and some roasted potatoes. I'm also going to include instructions for how to make this chicken in the oven, and I also have a special mayo that I'm going to make for you, and it's going to be in the description. Let's get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's start with our fried chicken marinade. So we got some orange juice, rice wine vinegar, a little olive oil, Worcestershire, soy sauce, tomato paste. Let's get that in the bowl. Give it a little stir so it mixes. Five cloves of crushed garlic, coriander, baking powder. That's gonna help uh, tenderize the meat. Sliced onion and chopped cilantro. Six pieces of chicken right in the bowl. Make sure the marinade gets in everywhere. Now we're gonna marinate this chicken for at least an hour. It's gonna help make it very flavorful. Now our chicken is marinated, so we're just gonna put it on some paper towel and pat it dry so we can get some nice crispy skin. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna air dry the chicken and I'm also gonna season it with salt and it's gonna help draw out some moisture and it's gonna help the skin tighten up as well so we get a perfect bite. Now we're gonna make our gluten-free chicken rub. We're gonna start with some potato starch and with that, cornstarch, white pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and we give that a quick stir. Chicken thighs, uh, it has a bone inside, and also I feel like it's more flavorful. But you can use any chicken you like. There. Now it's gonna go in our air fryer at 365, skin side up. And after eight minutes, we're gonna flip over the chicken, get it back in the air fryer for another three minutes. And after three minutes, you can see it's starting to get some color. I'm gonna go back on the other side for the last four minutes at 365. Now we're gonna pull out our chicken, looking nice and golden. And arugula really is great because it's very easy to use. You can just put it on and it gives it a nice, nice color. Now we're gonna do our potatoes. So I'm just gonna cut them in six pieces. Now we're going to add some spices to our potatoes, a little bit of potato starch, it's going to help them to get crispy, salt, olive oil, paprika, and some fresh chopped garlic. And also, I'm going to add some dry oregano, so that always makes things taste better. Crumble it right on. Now we're gonna give this a toss. Get our mixed potatoes in the air fryer. Just gonna put it right in here. It's already got oil in there, so you don't have to worry. Spread it out. Now we're gonna put it in the air fryer for a total of 14 minutes. Now we'll take out the potatoes. Just give them a little toss. And I'm using uh, Yukon Gold Potatoes. It's like an all-star potato. It's perfect for mash, 
it's kind of dense and creamy, but it's also perfect for roasting. So we're gonna put it back in for another seven minutes. Now our potatoes are done. Let's take a look. Oh, nice and golden. Just plate this up. Put a little parsley on there for color, so why not? Oh man, this is making me hungry. Now we're gonna prep our kale. So I have eight stalks of kale right here. I'm just gonna take them off the rib. And then we're gonna plunge it in some cold water. And we're gonna let it soak in that. So what that's gonna do is when we actually heat up the oil with the garlic, the water is gonna actually help steam the kale at the same time so it cooks faster. saute our kale. So we're going to get this pan on medium heat. So this nice uh, tall pot right here is going to help steam it and cook it. Now that the pan is hot, we're going to add our quarter cup of olive oil. We just want to get that oil pretty hot. We're not going to burn it. We're just going to get it nice and hot. And our garlic it goes. So in addition to kale, I'm going to throw in some, uh, some half cherry tomatoes. It's going to go really well together, especially it's going to marry perfectly with the chicken and the roast potatoes. And we're just roasting this, looking like that. Now we're going to throw our kale in. It's been soaked in the water. Be careful with the pot. Throw in our cherry tomatoes, and there we go. And then cover it. Now we're gonna let this cook for about five to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you can see that soften. I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of lemon juice. Get some salt. Break that up. that all that flavor so I got my gluten-free fried chicken here I got my roast lemon potatoes and I got my kale and cherry tomatoes I'm, I'm so hungry right now so I'm gonna make myself a plate Let's get, let's get two pieces of that let's get some of the kale in there and some roast potatoes <laughs> 